So right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin a coil of wire. Um, so the first thing I need to do is put my mandrel in my drill. So right now, I got out my 5 sixteenths of an inch mandrel. I'm just going to stick it in there, like so. Hold the chuck a little bit and pull the drill. And it's in there, pretty well centered, doesn't need to be too awesome. But there is my mandrel and my drill. You see I didn't get it perfectly straight, but I'll deal with that. Next, I need to get myself some wire. Um, just through experience, I know that about four circles around on this spool, that's two, three, four, is about as much wire as can fit onto this mandrel. So that's what I'll be using. Just going to open up my clippers and cut the wire. Now, what I want to do is take the wire and slot it into that slot in the top of the mandrel, like you see there. And then I just want to hold it and slowly start the drill. And it slipped out there, and that's why you want to do it slowly. And then, you want to get a few coils on there really nicely, I find. And once you got those first few coils started, then what you can do is get your thumb uh, into a good position. Uh, the, your thumb is what's going to actually be holding the wire tight. Now, when you uh, are coiling this, there's going to be a lot of tension that's put into the wire. Um, the more tension you put into, the tighter your coils are going to be. But with that, at the very end, uh, that tension is going to be released and the coil is going to spring back at you. So you've got to be careful at the very end because the coil is going to want to rotate. So you've got to do a little trick to make sure you don't rip open a pair of gloves like I have done before. So I'm just going to start and do the rest of the coil. Get a little tangled up there. Adjust my hands a little bit. And here we're coming to the end of the wire, so I'm going to slow down. And again, be very careful. Now there's two ways to release this spring back that I've kind of found. The first way is to kind of hold onto this wire and let go and quickly pull away your hand so that the spinning wire doesn't get you. Um, that sometimes doesn't work out the best. The uh, other way to get rid of that spring back I've found, instead of just holding onto it like this and letting it go, is just kind of grabbing here with my other hand and then just kind of slowly releasing it. And you'll see it springs back. That's two times three four, five, six times around. If you just let that go, it's going to hurt you. Uh, again, like we showed you before, this mandrel is just slot at the end, so the coil will just slide off, and then there's a coil of rings. After that, you just repeat the process for a bunch more wire, and then you have a whole bunch of coils that you can cut. That's that.